Act 17, Gilets Jaunes. It's Act 17 of the Yellow Vest, Gilets Jaunes in France. Uh, this is long, we're not forgetting. We're not forgetting about you, France. We love you. We love the French. We love the French's effort to expose oligarchy and take their, back their country from the imperialist Macron, the, the Soros regime, right? The, the imperialist New World Order regime, right? It's taking back their democracy out in the streets for the 17 weeks in a row. Damn, are they still going? I fucking, yeah, man. Look at that. Here they are, protesting away. This was uh, live a few hours ago. Uh, proud people marching in the streets of, of Paris. Uh, there they are, man. Proud walking. Yeah. It's just proud people, you know, there's nothing really to report. I don't know, I mean, I'll, you can look at the end of the video and see if there's people's, if the police are cracking heads, but that's not really the story. This is the story of people coming out in mass, tens of thousands of people piling into the streets of France to bring forth the idea that we are being ripped off, that we are, we have become second-class citizens in our own country, that that together we march. We march together, look, and we talk. We, we discuss the, the, the reality of our existence. We're not hiding anymore. We're not ashamed. We're not, we're not embarrassed. We're coming out in mass. That's the Yellow Vest movement. Now, could the United States ever have something like that? I don't know. I believed in it, and, you, you know, as sure as my, my Yellow Vest is hanging in the corner over there somewhere, right? I still believe that Yellow Vest could happen in, in the United States, um, you know, but I think we have other ways to protest, certainly in, in this uh, presidential wave that's coming up in 2020, where the oligarchy is about to get hit with a tsunami from the left. Wow, they, didn't even see, they don't see it coming, man. That's our, that's our yellow wave. It's the millennials saying, fuck you, we're not taking this shit anymore. You can't debt us, you can't. You can't put us in perpetual debt, causing your perpetual wars to keep your perpetual military industrial complex going. We know what you we know who you are. We know who you are and we're calling we're calling bullshit. Right? That's the that's the essence of certainly in France, the yellow vest movement. And certainly here in these good United States. It's uh, the effort is coming from the the young people, the millennials, and people that are not so young but would like to be young that grow their hair long and and and, and talk on YouTube, trying to get trying to get people to listen. So it's a great day in France. Not to take away their steam and make it an American thing, but when millions of people rise up. When millions of people come together and stand up and fight back, amazing things can happen. Right, so this is the this is the version of it in France. This is this is the reality of the French. Right? Amazing stuff. Gotta love RT too. Right? Just keep the camera rolling. It rolled for four hours. This is four hours of video. No cracking heads. Right. Police are there. Massive. Massive, massive amounts of people just coming out. Walking peacefully. They're not giving up. Right. That's the takeaway. They're not, they're not giving in, man. They mean business. They mean business. And at some point it'll it'll be you'll get some of the the uh, the more of the frontline types. The people that want to kick some ass, they want to—they're pissed off at the police, right? And they'll—they'll they'll come out and they'll start—they'll start confronting the police. They'll get squirted with fire hoses. A couple of heads will crack. A couple of eyeballs will—they'll knock out a couple of eyeballs. You don't have to dive into all that stuff, right? But but that that when people are walking together, you see how they walk together and they talk, right? Fucking one French to the other. It's like yeah, it's, yeah, we're getting squeezed, man. Life sucks, right? 
See, that's the kind of thing we need to have in this country. We need to have a, 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 a discourse where people enter the streets again and start meeting each other and realize that they have more in common than they have their differences. See, when you, when you read online, right? I remember, I remember like a dating service. Remember Match? Oh, Match, right? You go on Match and you pick, the, you pick your mate based on a bunch of, you know, uh, a, a bunch of statistics, written statistics. I like this and this. I like this about her, and he likes this about me. And 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 then when they come together, they clash like 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 uh, fucking like bulls hitting and crashing heads together, right? Because statistically, that doesn't it it doesn't bring people together, right? When it's academic, when it's um, social media chatting right because there's too many other variables right sometimes two people that have absolutely nothing in common but when they come together there's a chemistry right there's there's you know and it's, they go right to the sack right right, right? like we, they they hate each other but they love each other right and i think that's the the essence of um what's happening in france where people are coming out and they're they're talking about their dire financial existence where they can't make ends meet anymore right they're getting screwed left, right, and center, right? And their money runs out halfway through the month, right? What went wrong? We know what went wrong. They know what went wrong. It's it's this new world order nonsense. The EU squeezing the shit out of them, right? Taxing them up to 40, 50% of their money. They don't have money to live on, right? And, and um, you know, so they're, they're waking up and they're still marching. And where it all leads, no one knows, right? And you don't have to know, but they are out. They are out in mass, and we salute you. We salute you, France. Marcus Conti reporting.